when Renaissance started, I thought we'll give this a try. To have a future together, we've all got to trust each other and work together in harmony. It's interesting procuring the best value for the public purse, but also trying to do that and achieve inspirational architecture, I think, is absolutely essential. Innovation is, is not a novel concept. What we're doing is making sure it's a 21st century setup for that. It's helped to redefine what we're trying to do through regeneration and economic development. We're looking more at connecting our town centre back together. We came up with the idea of really expanding that pedestrianised area. Without the entrepreneurs in this region, we won't realise that long-term vision. This one, it really shows a good effort to town. It has to have an effect on the youth population when they see fantastic buildings going up. It's looking at things on a much bigger scale. Ambitious, novel, very creative and very challenging. This has made a real difference to the takings of the shops in the vicinity of the pedestrian streets. It's about making places better for where people want to live. We want small community-based projects that are quality. We've got a history and a heritage of being the workshop of the world. There's no boundaries, you know, the, the parameters are pretty much wide open. There is an economic component, there is a physical component, and there is an emotional component to a place. All of a sudden, there's a mood for quality. Local people have got absolute power. They put our vision into reality, and we're proud that we had a say in that. Renaissance doesn't happen to people. People need to make Renaissance happen.